Hello folks, welcome here. This is Dulla. In this video, I will be doing the unboxing of the Neora A5 dot grid journal. Uh, this comes in a cardboard box, which is again covered with a thin sheet of plastic. Um, I bought this book off of Amazon. Uh, it was delivered in about maybe two to three days, not nothing, not so long. When you open the cardboard box, there are a bunch of stickers, a small pamphlet that tells you about the company itself. Then the book is covered in um, a plastic uh, film as well. I chose the dark green for him because um, I, I wanted a masculine color and dark green seemed to fit well. So far, I have actually been really impressed with how this book turned out because um, like I, I don't keep my hopes really high up until I can get the actual diary in my hand and see for myself. But uh, this was really beyond like I kept my standards, like I kept my expectations really low and this would just surpass all of my um, my specifications. There's a small pouch in the back of the book, um, which I will most probably be pulling off because um, if you do use thought grid journals or if you do bujo yourself, then you might realize that the pouch in the back kind of hinders the way uh, you can draw lines. And uh, so it's best removed. Also, I don't really use the pouch that much. The pages itself are 100 GSM. Um, brilliant quality, actually. I think 100 GSM is more than enough for your um, your very basic type of bullet journaling, which is which is the style I go by. Um, so it's just basically lines, um, not so much art. And there's some um, there are some strokes of the tom Tombow brush pen, but nothing really heavy. Um, you can still see the lines on the other side, but I feel like it's not a huge issue. Uh, also, it's really hard to find a book of this standard and it comes with two bookmarks which again i will be removing off because um i find bookmarks a hindrance and a nuisance because i don't really go by um markings as such i just know where the book opens like to the page I am on right now. Uh, the pages are nice and smooth. This is actually the uh, bleached white, I think. This is the white shade. It's not the natural shade of paper. Okay, let's come to the dot, the markings now. Uh, well, this was the biggest part of the book. The dots themselves are perfect because, so each page has been printed separately and each dot is a separate dot. Like it's a very distinct round dot. Um, and and it's the dots are defined and like um, they're neatly centered to each page. So you know there's a definite amount of dots and you have a definite a frame. So there's a frame of undotted paper on all four sides of the page. Um, and if you do bujo and you have been bujoing for a while, you might realize how important this is for symmetry in how the spreads turn out. I wanted to mention that the pages are not numbered. However, each page is marked at the center and the centers of all the four sides of the pages are marked too. I feel like this is a little bit more helpful than having the pages numbered because numbers is not something you really rely on, especially in a bullet journal, at least myself. The pen test. I want you to keep in mind right now that um, just because you're able to see the markings of the pen from the other side of the page, that, that doesn't really mean that the quality of the paper is bad. You have to keep in mind that we're dealing with something as low as 100 GSM over here, especially for pens that are um, uh, so pigmented and rich in ink. So the first one over here was the um, Uni Pen Fine Liner in the size 0 0.2. 
The second one is the same pen but in the size 0.5. This third one is again the same pen but in the size 0.9. Now I have the Fudenosuke um, hot tip brush pen. These are the um, Stettler Tri Plus fine liners. This is, I just have four random colors which I'm trying out over here. Okay, now I flipped the page over so that you can see how much of the writings you can see on the other side of the page. Um, it's there's no ghosting, so that's a really good thing, and it also means that the quality of the paper itself is good. Um, yeah, so this is something that is ex expected, especially when the pages are um, just of a hundred GSM. Um, if you really are looking for something that you cannot at all see, then you should probably look for something higher. I've also gone to my previous bullet journal, which is the Matrika Signature Premium uh, Dot Grid Journal. Uh, just to compare and we have the same um, situation even over here but again keep in mind that it's 100 GSM. Thank you for watching.